Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Drew with DDM's Realm, and I've got a quick video for you for the uh, Trial of the Traps here. Uh, this is during the Days of the Dungeon Master, and I uh, thought I would show you a quick little a couple of tips for this as you run through it. Flabbergast leads you to a series of caves and says, This trial might be more than you can handle. Nevertheless, it's important that we assess your trap survival capabilities. We've heard rumors of drow in the vicinity, so be extra careful. Good luck. With that, Flabbergast and Mr. Snibley retreat to a safe distance. All right, it's a pretty cool quest. I love these things. Uh, being a tabletop player, it's, uh, I think, especially fascinating <laughs> that you actually set this up so you can be a player in on the tabletop and run around as a mini and rock some bad guys even just doing that i think is a kind of fun i just see there are a few mobs in here pretty easy to just tear through these if you look at this limited time uh 20 off uh, pet those drop quite frequently in here uh, so if you see those, you'll be able to use them during the event. So here's your trapped hallway. You see these things that are going back and forth. If you go to one side, you're able to get a little bit more time to pass through them. Because if you hit them, you end up getting knocked back. Oh man, I was trying to show you there, but I got attacked here. Um, finish these guys off. I'm going to make it through. Uh, anyway, those blades that go back and forth can really knock you back quite easily. So if you stick to one side, that gives you a little bit more time to pass through them. However, if these blades are just making you too mad, then you can just actually run down the spike side. You're going to get some uh, injuries anyway, uh, but that is one way to bypass them without worrying about it. Uh, you might as well just go through injuries in this one, unless you're uh, lucky enough and are a VIP where you don't get injuries through those, then you are good to go. Uh, between each of these little trap things, you'll see that they have uh, a few mobs to fight. Everything's pretty easy in here, though. Since this whole thing was designed when the cap was 60, you get leveled back down to 60. So if you're over that, your gear is pretty awesome. All right, here's one spot that I really like. Uh, these D20s that come bouncing down through here. I would like to be able to purchase some D20s of that size because I think they can be quite useful with players at my table. Uh, but there's kind of the standard little uh, rock tumbling down the hallway here. And they've got uh, the D20s bouncing their way through. There's some mobs here. You can stop and fight them. As you know, I like have the uh, Wanderer's Fortune. I do all the Dragon Horde enchantments. So I kill everything because all that does is fill my inventory with refined stones, which, as we all know, we need more. More, more, more. Never have too many. So yeah, I told you like another one to drop there. Finish off these mobs, then we'll look back and see where the we get a window to pass through. You can see it goes pretty quick, especially with my slow tank, but it's not too bad to dodge them. Those dice will actually take out mobs and players as well, so if you want to just drag them in there and have a little bit of fun with uh, smashing the mobs under the dice, <laughs> feel free. Alright, so this is the uh, first of the two real bosses in here. We're going to come into the Drider's room. Got to make sure everybody gets caught up with us here. A drider emerges from the shadows. All around it, you detect explosive runes carved into the floor. The drider cautiously avoids them. All right, so let's talk about these little uh, runes, little chips on the ground. You're going to want to use those because this uh, drider here is actually quite tough, really resistant to damage. You can see barely even scratching it. Um, but if you can drag this drider over to these runes, they will explode and mess up the drider's armor. Then you can actually fight this thing pretty easy. One rune is enough really to do it most of the time. But if you're having trouble or running through with this with low level characters, you might try dragging them through another rune. You see another one pop up there to the side and you can uh, lower their armor even more. There you go, bam. It also lowers your armor, but it doesn't uh, 
doesn't affect you nearly as much as it does the Grider, so it's much better just to have the Grider get smashed up, and then you, know, you can tear through it. This is Eve kind of playing around, uh, dragging the Grider through a bunch of different things, and her armor is super duper messed up. You can just watch us then tear through. Uh, the dreader quite quickly with only a couple people smacking it all right this next hallway here is a hallway full of various traps you can see some of the triggers glowing there as well as the spikes on the side um, you can try pulling the mobs through if you're still trying to avoid the traps but really um, I see people just charge through this whole thing if I'm in a group that I can stay ahead of people I basically try to Stay ahead, kill the mobs so they don't knock them into the traps and they can work their way through the traps. Or just drag it all to the very end and fight it at the very end. This is an easy way to do it too. If you're worrying about such strategies, most of these groups that I've been in actually just zerg right on through, just plow through the traps, the mobs, everything. But it's kind of fun to do these as they're intended and try to get around the traps, dodge the traps, time your movement and everything. Alright, here we are at the end already. It's nice these little uh, skirmishes, whatever, pretty quick. Thick chains anchor a beholder to the cave floor. The beholder tries to free itself, and the chains don't look like they'll hold it much longer. There's nothing too special about this fight. Uh, stay out of the big uh, red areas, and... Beat the beholder down. There's no special trick here that you need to do. Just try to let your tank be on one side and take the brunt of it while everybody else tears through the beholder. It's kind of cool. The chains break off as his health goes down. Just like that. And we are done. The Beholder's eyes widen with shock and awe as its life comes to a sudden, unexpected end. It spits forth expletives as it flops down onto the cave floor. When you exit the caves, Flabbergast says, Bravo, well done. Were I a betting man, I would not have expected you to survive that last challenge. All right, so make sure you uh, grab your loot when it pops out here. You jump out. This is where you can get some of the, the rare stuff some companions that kind of thing um and that's really all there is to it a few little tricks you can use to help get through this uh, if you like these videos please subscribe and share them with fellow players and guildies i really appreciate it and uh keep an eye out there will be a lot more of these little training helpful videos coming thanks for watching and we'll see you in game bye